Welcome to our second Roast with the Most Winners Sunday Sessions. This week, the person with the most votes on Twitter was Alan Moore with his beautiful smoked loin of pork, stir-fried red peppers and roast baby new potatoes. Now let's see how easy it is to create all that at home. Look at this beautiful loin of pork. We've still got the bones attached. These are the, uh, the loin ribs. And this is about one and a half kilo piece of pork loin. Now we're not going to do too much to this, no rub or anything like that, because we want to champion the taste of the smoke. So all we're going to do is add a little bit of rapeseed oil and some salt and pepper. So I'm going to do that right now. So we'll take our piece of pork and what we're going to do is just add the rapeseed oil and this is going to really help to allow the salt and pepper and seasoning to stick. And there it is, that's all we're going to do. So that is now ready for the smoker. Now remember, if you haven't got a smoker at home, you can recreate this dish in a normal kettle barbecue or a gas barbecue, but it's low cooking at a temperature of around 120 degrees. So let's get the meat on, just take the lid off and I can hear the water bubbling in the, in the liquid container. That's going to really help with the humidity. So we'll just take the loin of pork now and just reach across. And uh, we'll put this straight on the top section. And he'll, he's just going to sit open for about one hour while it absorbs the smoke flavour. After that hour, we're going to wrap it with tin foil and finish it off on the smoker for another one and a half hours. So total cooking time, two and a half hours. So now let's get some wood smoke on. Now I'm using cherry wood, so cherry wood's a really sweet tasting, fairly mild smoke, but it has a really good ability to give the meat a lovely coloration, a bit of a mahogany colour. I'm just going to take probably one hand of wood chips. Okay, so the smoker is now loaded with chips. We're going to give it just a few minutes to see the smoke developing, and you can actually see it now, it's just started, so that's a good time to put the lid on, and we're going to let that cook for one hour and really give it that unique taste. So the pork is on the smoker. It's going to be smoking for about one hour at the all-important 120 degrees. And then I'm going to foil it and we cook it for another hour and a half. So it's two and a half hours cooking time. That gives me plenty of time to get on with all the veg prep. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to tackle the little new potatoes. Now this couldn't be simpler. All we're going to do is half them and then we're going to season them with some salt, some rapeseed oil, some pepper and we're going to put them on my grill tray and get them cooking. So I'm just going to cut these up really. I've got a little pan we can put them in and I'm chopping these in half and they're going to go into the pan. So once you've chopped all the potatoes it's time to just add the oil, salt and pepper. There's nothing else to it. So the perforated holes in the tray really allows the flavour to come up through the barbecue and give the potatoes that lovely barbecue taste. And there we are, crispy spuds in about 45 minutes. So I'm going to put these to one side, we're going to get those on the grill really soon. And the next thing we're going to do is prepare our red pepper stir fry. I've got some really lovely big Romano peppers here, but you could use green peppers, yellow peppers, any kind of pepper for this. The important thing is we just want to chop the actual top off and take out the seeds and the pith. So I'm going to just cut that down like that. And I usually just use a spoon and we'll get a little bowl for all the waste. And again, we're just going to scrape out all the innards so we're left with no seeds. So these peppers have got a lovely sweet smell and they're going to melt down. We're going to use a little bit of paprika, a little bit of chilli and onion and just get a really lovely stir fried dish to go with that smoky pork loin. I'm going to roughly chop these up, just cutting them into smallish pieces. So what we're going to do is take just some of these red finger chilies. This is very much optional. If you want a little bit of spice, a bit of kick in your dish, you can add a few chilies. I think just one or two will be enough. They're not that spicy, but watch out, they can be unpredictable. So we're going to cut these in half. And again, we want to take out the pith. It's the pith and the seeds in these chilies that are the hottest part anyway. So that's what we'll take out. And we'll just cut down and we can add these to the peppers. It's got the chilli. We've got the red peppers. 
I'm going to put a little bit of uh, sweet paprika in there as well, just to really help with the depth. Oh, and I nearly forgot, I've got a sweet onion as well. So we'll just chop that in half, roughly cut it down. And that is gonna go in with the peppers and the chili. Add just a touch more of the rapeseed oil. We're gonna add some pepper and you guessed it, some sea salt as well. So once all that is in there, we can then just combine all those flavors. So this is gonna be really flash fried, stir fried, cooked very quickly and it will all soften down into a really nice accompaniment. And I think go really well with that smoky meat, but let's see. So we've got our little baby roast potatoes all ready to go on the grill. So I've set this up for a nice indirect heat and I'm gonna put this tray right in the center, really allowing the heat to move all around the potatoes, roasting them and getting them nice and crispy. So lid down and all we have to do is wait. We've been busy. I've already foiled the pork, the potatoes are now ready and I've just pushed the charcoal baskets together in the master touch and preheated the wok, you can see it in there. And that should be nice and hot now. And I'm just going to add a little bit of rapeseed oil and then we're gonna stir fry those sweet peppers. So you can see the oil smoking in the wok there. Just pop the oil down and we're now gonna add our peppers. You hear that wonderful sizzle. And just give them a really good toss around. So they're gonna take about six minutes to really cook down, get nice and soft. Then I'm gonna bring them in and we'll be ready to plate up. Okay, so things have finally come together and there are some amazing smells, but what I'm really interested to see is what the pork is doing. Because remember, we wrapped that in foil about an hour and a half ago, so I'm keen to check it out. So I'm just gonna carefully unravel this, because usually you get a lot of juice collecting in the foil, so we need to make sure that doesn't go absolutely everywhere. And look at that. You can see that that smoke has really given it some beautiful coloration. and I'm getting a really nice smell from that cherry wood smoke. So remember, you're not gonna get crackling cooking a pork in foil and in the smoker, but if you did want a crunchy top, you could just grill the pork on the skin side for about five or six minutes. Now, have a little look at these potatoes. They've crisped up really nicely, and that was just the easiest thing in the world, just indirect for 45 minutes. I think we should cut into this meat. It's been resting for about 15 minutes, and I'm gonna cut it on the underside so I can actually see the bones. Uh, and I wanna cut in between the bones because remember we've got those little rib bones there. Okay, so I'm gonna plate this dish up now. If I went to someone's house for a Sunday lunch and they presented me with that, I'd be pretty happy. So Alan Moore, well done. Thank you for joining our Sunday session. For information on Alan Moore's recipe, please visit Weber.com. Now, join us next week where we're going to be having a fantastic festive feast. I'm going to be in my Christmas finery, cooking up turkey, Brussels sprouts, pigs in blankets, the lot. So join us and don't miss it. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.